We've got the entrance door on that side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start on that corner over there, run the earthing tape down the bottom of the wall, across the corner, underneath the power point, to the other side, underneath the window, and take it to that corner over there where the rope is. Now in that corner, I'm going to take the earthing tape up, and I'm going to get across the corners over there to get on the ceiling panel, and I'm going to run it along the ceiling panel to that side, and that's where we'll stop it. Now to get tape onto that ceiling, sorry, that wall panel as well, I'm just going to make a little T-junction over there from the tape that's going up, across the corner to the other wall, and also run a tape along that side to also have that wall panel included into the circuit. That just leaves our robe area, so we're just going to run some tape through there and get the electrician to, uh, to hook it into earth as well. It's just like double-sided tape, so you just take the backing off. It's always more trickier than it looks. Now you do want to give your paint ample time to dry before you start applying this. Um, and when you do apply it, you do want to press it firmly into place. You don't want to rub it out, so you're trying to lengthen it up. You just want to, with direct pressure, um, uh, apply it nice and, uh, nice and strongly. Um, typically about 5 to 10 centimeters above the skirting board uh, is done. Um, the reason we try and put it low on the ground rather than up near the ceiling is that this is more likely to be noticeable because you may see a little raised edge from that tape once the, the, all the painting is done. Uh, so this way it's uh, more, um, more hidden than if it was near the ceiling area. craft store you can get a little, little roller which is like made out of rubber which would be perfect for this job. Mattresses. So it'd be interesting to now have a look and see what those levels become.